Hey guys, and welcome to episode number 24 of my modern Minecraft Let's Play here on Minecraft 1.5.2. Uh, as you guys probably know, I'm now using the FTB launcher with the Unleashed um, mod pack. So we have a few changes again. We once again have power converters, but I'm still not using power converters at the moment, so we probably will get into that at once or some stage. Um, you can see here none of the B stuff is here. I've moved that in between this episode and the last one. Um, I've been, had a bit of off time on the whole YouTube thing with uni and I know just a few other things. Had a bit of bad internet for a little while and that was a bit of a downer. So as you guys know, I was doing a bit of liquid XP with the um, or mob essence with the grind over there for slime. Um, still got all of this sort of stuff going, so that's all going pretty well. I'm starting to fill up my disc, so we're getting a lot of stuff in now. Um, and yeah, so we've done these linking books. I want to show you this one because I think I did this off camera. And this one is an endothermic pump. So this pump is supposedly lagless. So it doesn't leave any flowing lava blocks. It places a flowing lava block with this stone. And as you can see here, this was the first one it picked up. Because, oh, bit of lag there. Um, that was the first one that was flowing that it picked up. And because this world doesn't have Mistcraft in it, these are now pointless. This was a Mistcraft tower. And it's got nothing inside it. So that's not very useful showing you guys. Um, this isn't pumping at the moment. Well, this is pumping but not really using much lava because um, I'm not really using a whole lot of lava compared to uh, the input that I'm getting. So I'll show you where I am using all that lava if we go through this portal here. I've created a base out here for my bees. And you see here I've just hollowed out this tree and planted some cool trees around it. I've got a few berries out here because this is just what I was doing in my spare time. And the cool thing about these berry trees are you can just grow them with bone meal so you can get, just get one and get heaps and they'll just keep growing up. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been up to. I've been in the process of doing a few things inside here, I'll just show you. And just here, if you can't really see them, there's a silent shrouded pressure plate there which you can hardly see so up here my four apiaries and one apiary is doing the unwearies one apiary is doing tropical which I'm using the silk wisp or to get silk wisps um, another one's doing lapis that's to get me my lapis combs and this one is just getting me some diligence so I've also set myself up a AE storage system over here just for this sort of stuff. Um, it's probably a bit of overkill, but it's not really when I had all the resources for it. Just make sure my frames are full. And all that lava you saw I was getting is getting used down here. So this is what's powering everything. I think there's about 30 something um, magmatic engines, and they're all just going into here. So I probably have too many at the moment, but when I run, or when I was running all these machines at once, I didn't have enough. So now it's better to have too many than not enough, especially when it's pretty much free power. So you can see here I've got pretty much every single species that I've ever collected. Um, and all the ones that I really use. These are just the few that I don't really use or have no use for at the moment. Um, so what I wanted to do today is go to the twilight and seeming this new pack has twilight forest in it, I think that's a good idea. So let's grab a diamond if I can spell. Um, we'll just drop off all the stuff that we're not going to need. Jump back in over here to get rid of the B analyzer. And then place, we'll probably keep this auto sorting one with us. So we can chuck it up in here. We're going to need some flowers, so hopefully we have some flowers. Uh, not quite enough, without some roses. Yep. 
So we got some roses, and then we'll need some water. If you guys remember, this isn't cheaty water. I used you matter a few episodes back when I was trying to do my. Oops, just fell down the hole. Um, when I was trying to do my uh, cobble generator over there, that totally failed. So that's all good. So I'm thinking we're going to just make it. It doesn't really matter where I make it, does it? Uh, I know what we might do though. Before we do it, we're going to grab our grabby gun if it's in there. It is. Still missing a few textures, but that's nothing too special. This is a new texture pack I just used today. It's making my FPS a little bit better actually, which I was a bit surprised at. Um, but yeah, no, it's all good. So I think we might do it. I kind of want to have it over here. I'm spending a lot more time over here, seeming I'm into my bees a whole lot more at the moment. So if we just put it in here, maybe. Um, grab the roses out. few flowers. We'll just plant the rest of the flowers down. Get rid of this seed. We're actually going to need those blocks. Do I still have those blocks? Yep. Just so we can update that water. We'll have a quick run in here and a nap. Just to make it daytime so we don't get blown up by any creepers or anything. Oh, didn't want to go through there. And I think we crashed. So, okay, guys, we're back. So what I'm going to do here, if you didn't see this in the last episode that I was I made, um, we have this hybrid and just normal quantum helmet now. The normal quantum helmet's just going to make sure that I don't lose any power. Um, that's charging up off something. I'm not sure what it is. Ah, uh, it must be... Okay, that's charging off my inventory. So what we're going to do is here, I'm going to throw this diamond, hopefully we'll get electrocuted, and this will become a supercharged gravity gun. Or not. Um, do we not have Twilight Forest in here? I thought we did. So what I'm going to do is just clear this out. Well, we have to have Twilight Forest in here, so I'm just going to figure out why this isn't working, and I'll join you guys in just a second. Okay, guys, so I just threw it in there one last time because it was starting to frustrate me, and it just worked. So as you can see now, I have this supercharged gravity gun. Um, not sure exactly what I'm going to use it for, but that's a thing now, so that's just something we have. We don't need nether stuff for. So we're going to jump right in here, and... I'm going to fly up onto one of the trees and I'm going to let the world generate. I'll let you guys see the first little bit of generation when we jump in. So as usual, you're usually spawning somewhere really bad. Um, let's set this as a waypoint. So this is home portal. And we're going to grab portal gun, send it there, and then I'm just going to cut recording here guys, fly up on top of the canopy and let the world reload for a second. Okay guys, so I've let the world load for a little bit, um, I only have 40% of my jetpack, so I don't exactly know where we're going to go have a look at, but we're just going to run right in, actually I don't have any torches, so we're going to jump back out. Hopefully this doesn't take all too long. Um, run back over to the base. Do 
don't actually have any torches. So do we have any rubber? We do have a lot of rubber. And any sticks. Grab a few stacks of sticks and we'll run right back in. So, oh no, I'm going to charge up my jetpack real quick because I turned off my recharge station because it was making it really hard for me to get it out. Um, jump straight back into this twilight portal and straight in here I reckon because why not so I'm thinking we're going to just place torches on the right hand side still because that just seems like the logical thing to do for me not to get lost and there's nothing down here bit of iron that's not really worth anything grab some torch berries on the way and that's a dead end alright so I think we're gonna go in this direction because that just seems like it's where everything's at um, or maybe we'll go this way because it's not covered with this top so let's just get a quick look around if there's anything around interesting, otherwise we might cut away and come back when I find something interesting. Okay, here we go guys. Here's the first thing that we found. Just kill these mobs first. This is one of the um, mazes. I know you're meant to use this without having your quantum suit on and whatnot, but just because I'm a rookie and don't want to die I'm going to do it with it on so I'm sucking at the moment let's just fly around and not do it properly so let's get rid of these dog spawners there's some rams here oh there's a chest it's in the chest so we have a diamond hoe and nothing we really want. Maybe some sticks. Alright, so there's some more fly fireflies, some more sticks. Uh, nothing really of interest here. This maze is sucking a little bit at the moment. Yeah, once again, nothing really good there. And nothing really good there. So I'm starting to try and use my hotkeys a little bit more, guys. Um, instead of scrolling. But I still still tend to scroll a fair little bit so I'm not quite there yet but I'm getting there so it looks like we've done everything here yeah so I'm going to cut here guys see if you can find something interesting and I'll join you guys when I do welcome back guys so I think I found one of these hills or the stormcraft spawner things um, got a few spawners down here <laughs> let's 
let's see what we got. So we did a gas tier, steel sword, bronze sword. And uh, nothing really of interest here. And two books. Okay, so that was a bit sad. Oh, so was that. So also this here looks to be one of those hills. Looks like a little small one, but It's still a hill nonetheless. Let's just eat before we go down there real quick. Um, just get everything sorted real quick. So, let's put that there. This one here. And we're all good to go. Actually, we'll swap these two around. to be a fairly long way down for no hollow hill here but I can hear the guys that are laughing a little bit so maybe there we go we found it so this is usually and generally really good for resources these hills um, I'm just gonna try and go around light everything up see how we go this is only a very small one it seems, but you can get maze map focuses and everything from these ones, so... So yeah, this is basically it. I'm just going to keep going around lighting this place up. If I find anything interesting, I'll let you guys know. Otherwise, when I find something special, we'll join you guys again. See you in a second. Welcome back, guys. So, just flying over here, only like 600 blocks away. I found this. I think it's called a Minotaurs or Minotaurs. Whatever it is. Um, I'm not going to go down in this episode because I'm most likely going to get lost and die. Even though I do have my super OP equipment on. We'll go have a quick look to see what it's like. Both all these guys. Let these guys burn to death. Like get some cooked beef or whatever they drop. Yeah, some raw beef and some cooked beef. Some beef steak. So I'm just going to mark this on this place. So we're going to call it uh, Minotaurs. I don't think that's how you spell it, but that'll do me. And I'm just going to journey on for a little bit more. Just thought I'd show you this, guys. So here we have a creeper inside a blue slime, which I thought was quite funny. And it looks like it's a, um, I don't know what these are, a mosquito wasp, a swarm. Just trying to have a go at me. Alrighty, so over here, looks like there's something maybe. Not quite sure. No, okay. I'm going to keep going on and I'll see you guys shortly. Welcome back guys. So I found a big hollow hill here. We're just going to go check it all out. Um, it's looking pretty good so far. There's already at least one chest, which is a lot better than the last one we were in. And there's another chest. Oh, there's a creeper going to blow up. I'm just 
gonna run around and light this all up real quick. Oh, it opens onto a uh, ravine as well, which is pretty cool. I'm out of torches, that's why it's not placing anymore. lit up pretty well here. Oh, didn't want him to blow up wherever that happened. spawners but hopefully a lot of them um, so yeah I'm gonna start oh, I think killing some mobs and then I'll join you guys just shortly with the loots welcome back guys so I've pretty much cleaned it out now there's still a few spawning but not a lot I can do so that's pretty sweet we just found some transformation powder Gonna leave everything else in there. Don't really need anything else in there. Um, there was a few more chests. Some of them might have got blown up. There's some on the outside, around here somewhere. Here's one here. So there's an uncrafting table. That's something that I did want. So now we have that. Kill these guys real quick. Let's see what's in this one. Ore magnet, that's also pretty good. I believe the nugget scale. There's one over here. There's a diamond and some ladders and stuff. It's not really useful. What else do we have around here? That's all I really wanted from this place anyway. I just wanted a uh, maze map focus or a uncrafting table. So, I think that's going to end this episode for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please click that like button. If you have any comments or feedback, please leave in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel and enjoyed the con content, please click that subscribe button. It really helps my channel out. And it helps me to know that you guys are liking the content I'm putting out. So, as always guys, have a good day and I'll see you next time. And there we have it. So, let's take this helmet off, put that one on. That's now charging up quite nicely. <clears throat> and we're down a little bit of um, armor, but I think we'll be okay. <laughs>